It's a crazy little place and it can be hard to find the good stuff. No fear because in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 awesome GitHub repos worth your time going into 2020. All right, that ukulele, I promise, will never be on this channel again. I just had to do it. Thank you for putting up with that. What's up, developers? It's Real Tough Candy from realtoughcandy.com. Back online with you guys today. There's something for everyone in this list. I did save the best one for last, so you want to stay tuned for all these. Also got to give a shout out to Donovan, who is my very first channel member. He has a really cool icon next to his name right now, and he has been such a great supporter of the Real Tough Candy channel for years. So motivating to get his support. There's a little join button next to this video, and there's some perks included when you join, so be sure to check that out. It's just another way way you can support the Real Tough Candy Network. All right, let's get into it. The first repo I have for you today is called First Contributions, and this is helping beginners contribute to open source projects. And this repo really breaks it down step by step what you need to do. So you're going to fork it, you're going to clone it, you're going to create a branch, you're going to make the necessary changes. Very procedural, very explicit, and can take away some of the anxiety associated uh, with collaboration, especially with strangers. Also, a nice accessibility touch here with all these different languages. Again, this is to help you get familiar and get comfortable with contributing to open source projects. Great real world practice and it goes all the way to this person merging your changes to the master branch so you do get it as real life as possible. Number two, courtesy of Danny Stefanovic. Stefanovic, sorry if I mispronounced that. Build your own X. This repo is neat because it gives you ideas for just about every discipline you can think of when it comes to tech. Games, Git, search engines, regex engines, programming languages, physics engines, template engines, text editors. And this is just a whole list of tutorials that brings you all the way across the web. So if you want to build your own BitTorrent client, for instance, in C Sharp, you have options for NIM and Node and Python. And it's separated by project rather than language. So that's cool. That's kind of a neat organization here. A lot of times when you see these massive collections, it's organized by language. But when you're feeling a certain way, you're like, okay, what do we got for Docker? You can build it in C, Go, Python, and Shell. Uh, lots of JavaScript too. Build your own front-end framework. Exclusively JavaScript here. Build AngularJS and 200 lines of JavaScript. That's pretty cool. This is one of those repos where there really is something for everyone. Number three, awesome Node.js. If you're a front-end developer, this probably isn't very useful, but if you're going for full stack or back-end, this is a great little repo. And basically this is just a collection of the best Node.js modules and resources. Best, of course, being a subjective term, but I'm pretty sure you can find some useful things in here, going from debugging and profiling to build tools to streams and text and numbers and math. We have stuff for blogging, including Ghost and Hexo. That's neat. Weird stuff, this is more my speed. Cows, cat names, dog names, and then going all the way down to all this miscellaneous stuff tutorials, articles, newsletters, videos, books, and blogs, need I go on. As you've noticed, this is Awesome Node.js. Awesome Node.js is one of probably hundreds of awesome lists. So we have the platforms here. And so this repo really is just a collection of all these different things like platforms, editors, theories, books. This is a rabbit hole repo. Number five, a shameless plug, but I think this repo is pretty good. Real world JavaScript interview questions. I wanted to start this repo because I do see quite a few repos out there where it's JavaScript interview questions, but they're not confirmed. Confirmed. In other words, there's someone's idea of what someone might ask at an interview. Um, but I wanted something more real world. And I find these myself. Other people contribute them. Sometimes they give context, like how long they had to solve the problem. Could they use Google? Could they use internal documentation? Everything from completing the Olympic challenge to building a to-do list with no JavaScript framework with an example solution and explaining OOP, object-oriented programming, with JavaScript. And a few more here too. If you are watching this and you've been to an interview where they asked you a JavaScript question, please consider submitting one because it's really gonna help a lot of people. Great for practice coding too. A lot of these are fun little challenges. Again, that is real world JavaScript interview questions. Coming in at number six, we have Clean Code JavaScript. It's a guide to producing readable, reusable, and refactorable software in JavaScript. A nice diverse set of content here from classes to objects and data structures 
to testing and concurrency, comments and a translation section for some greater accessibility here, methods, techniques, and tips for producing better code. Coming in at number seven, we have computer science. This is a path to a free self-taught education in computer science. If you're just not feeling the four-year college degree thing, starting you off with some prereqs, going into intro to computer science, some core CS stuff. This is a pretty high quality list here. A lot of these courses, some of you may be familiar with, Introduction to Computer Science, CS50, the classic Harvard X course, some other really great ones here too, Introduction to Computer Networking, that's going through Stanford. There's a few other Stanford Stanford courses here too. All this stuff is totally free of charge and pretty much mirrors what you would be taking in a college program. As part of this curriculum, there is a capstone project. You do your final project and you can also submit it. So cool if you are looking for that four year university education free of charge. The only thing you're missing out on is intramural sports and ramen noodles when you go down this path. Really great resources here. Computer science, path to a free self-taught education. Coming in at number eight, we have the modern JS cheat sheet, indispensable repo in my opinion. I've used this one so many times and it starts you off with some complimentary resources. Most of these you guys are probably familiar with, Reddit, Google, Stack Overflow, MDN, um, but there's also some additional stuff here. You don't know JavaScript, the book. This is a great little book, Wes Boss's blog. And then going down into the protein. Oh my gosh, look at all of this stuff. Arrow functions, function default parameter value, array method, spread operator, object property shorthand, tag template literals, imports and exports, extends and super keywords, tons of code snippets, great examples, and there's a good chance that the stuff you're working with as a web developer is located in this guide. Definitely worth checking out. Coming in at number nine, the front end checklist. Another really good one that I know I use pretty regularly consulting just to make sure I'm crossing my T's, dotting the I's and using the brackets where I need to be using them. We have stuff starting with the obvious, your head and HTML and web fonts, and then going down to SEO. This is a good one too, that I was kind of actually surprised to see um, but it's just so important. Structured data is a good one that I think doesn't get a lot of love, but that's kind of a digression. Security is also a really big one that doesn't get a lot of love sometimes. Um, scanning and checking your website, securityheaders.io. Let's encrypt, ooh, great resource there. Cross-site scripting resources and much more. This one's gonna keep you busy and great when you're wrapping up a project or maybe when you're just starting out. There's never a bad time to consult this list. Again, this is called a front end checklist. And coming in at number 10, this is this is the Whopper real world. This is one of my all time favorite repos. I think I'm saving the best for last year because this one really can help open up your mind to the potential of different stacks, different languages. Now we hear a lot of these acronyms, the MERN stack, the MEAN stack, the JAM stack. The truth is you can use any stack you want. You can make it as Frankenstein-y as you want and fuse whatever you want. Angular with Rails, Angular with Django, React with Django, React with Node. And the reason all of these work together and are able to fuse so beautifully is because they all adhere to the same API spec. So you can take something you've never heard of, maybe, I don't know, what's something that's kind of never talked about? Chrismas, fusing Chrismas with something like Slim or Rust and you can make it work. It's just so cool to build these projects and open up your mind to the possibilities. That notion and that action is just so powerful. And by the time you're done building it, you're gonna have a really cool medium.com clone called Conduit. And basically medium.com, it's a content management system that looks really pretty. Many of you have probably heard of it, but if you have it, just know it is a content management system and your final project is going to look something like this. No matter what front end and back end you use, it's gonna resemble, hopefully, something that looks like this with complete functionality. So cool. Love this repo so much. Love it to pieces. Real world courtesy of GoThinkster. Guys, there you have it. 10 must star GitHub repos for 2020. Thanks for watching. Let me know your favorite repos in the comments, what you think of these ones. As always, I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to this freaking channel 
and I'll see you in the next video.